Today we're going to be talking about how to update your boot images. I'm going to get ready and start talking about Windows 10 imaging and how to uh, deploy images, uh, Windows 10 or Windows Server 2019 or 16. Uh, so first thing I need to do is I need to update my boot image because uh, every time you do an update in SCCM when you move up to 1806 to 1810 or you know whenever you do those upgrades you have to come back in here and update your boot images so that it adds those um, latest files <coughs> to your boot image so with that let's get started so at the in the other videos I did not show this process so after I do my upgrade I've got to come in here and I've got to update my boot image uh, as you can see I have no operating system yet because we're going to start looking into this uh, next I'm going to add like Windows 10 Windows 2016 and Windows 2019 just to have the latest and the greatest you can see how those things um, um how to install and create those and then also how to configure all your driver packages and, and drivers um some of the best ways that you can do that but in this video let's go ahead and start um updating the boot image so the first thing you want to do is uh these have already been distributed you you always want to distribute your boot image so we've already distributed it before so now i need to update my uh boot image so i'm going to go ahead and update both of them so I'm going to click on one and I'm going to get update distribution point. So what I want to do is I want to reload this boot image with the current WinPE version from the Windows 80K, which is what you want to do, which right now this is the 80K version that I have, which is what we want. Go next, next, and then this will take some time, but it'll actually go through and start processing this. And then you'll want to do that with the um, uh, x86 version, the 32-bit. Uh, do the same thing and that's pretty much basically all you have to do so I'm going to show you a couple things when this is finished um, so I'll be right back and this is what it looks like when it's done so it's already updated the successful updated the boot image successfully Windows take Windows 80k reload actions so it's basically updated the boot image now we're going to do the same thing with uh, this one update distribution points we're going to go ahead and reload Again, this will take about 10 minutes-ish. Um, and once this is completed, um, I'll talk about some other things regarding boot images. Uh, so let's wait for this to finish. All right, so this one's finished as well. So we have success, as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and click on close. And let's go into... Now it may take some time to, there you go. Now we refresh it and now it has the latest client version as part of the boot image. Um, so this is good. And um, so once you have that, then you've successfully updated your boot image. Now, um, I don't recommend that you edit the existing boot image. If you need to create one, like I'll probably create one, like uh, adding the VMware tools and stuff like that. I can create an additional boot image if I need to. Um, and I'll actually talk about that in the next another video, like how to add your boot image, how to create your NBT boot image, as well as how to create your OSD boot image. So you have some additional one. But I don't recommend editing these two um, with additional NIC drivers and storage drivers. It is required for some of your devices. Uh, so I recommend adding two additional one. But I just wanted to show you quickly how to update your existing boot image, and this includes your your custom your. Um, your additional boot images you have created you, you want to do that uh, as well you know after the upgrade or whenever you need to make a change like if you're adding devices um you know if you had some additional um and again i'm going to create a video on how to create some additional boot image um and then whenever you have a uh, you need to make an update to drivers and what have you, you want to update those boot images accordingly so anyways uh, and also whenever you add the windows new version of windows 80k to your primary site server you want to also update the um, boot image as well to include the 80k um, components within your boot image and the new client version so so those are the reasons why you want to upgrade your boot image so i just wanted to show you um how you do that and the reasons why you want to upgrade uh, update your boot images so with that the next video is going to be about uh, creating your customizations adding an image as well as creating a uh, how to capture uh, a windows 10 image or capture a windows 10 uh, WIM file so with that um that's all i have for today if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe there's going to be a lot more content coming your way in regards to imaging uh, so stay tuned for that. So there's going to be more stuff coming your way. Again, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments below. Uh, thanks. Have a great day. See you next time.